Hey guys, so we got a customer's 2009 Polaris Sportsman 550 XP here. Uh, it's got a little, it got a few issues. Um, we're gonna go ahead and check it out, and then we'll get to tearing it apart. So they said it's got a clunking noise when you're driving it, or thunking noise. Uh, I don't. Know. So right out the bat, I'm noticing it's trying to lurch ahead. They also it's, they stripped out the shifter, um, so the only way you can switch gears is when it's off, and it still, it only goes, it doesn't go all the way to neutral or anything, but anyways, let's, uh, okay, definitely hearing a noise there now. Well, it sounds like it would be in the clutch. Maybe it's in the transmission. Let's go find out. So we got a 2009 Polaris Sportsman 550 XP here with some major clunking issues in the back here. Um, let's dig into it. So the first thing we noticed on this is um, feels like it has some clutching issues. So it could be clutch related. Hopefully that'll be cheaper. Um, can't shift it like this. So this is stripped out. As you can see, the bolt's not moving, um, so I'm sure the the threads in the, um, or not the threads, but the grooves in the aluminum are uh, stripped, and it's because it wants to lurch forward, so I think they're having a tough time getting in gear, so we're going to need a new one of these arms for sure, but uh, we might have other serious issues. I'm going to go ahead and start pulling everything apart. First thing is to remove the clutch cover and see what's going on there. All right, so now we're gonna remove this cross member here. So there's really not much to these rear fenders. I'm just gonna pull them off. It's gonna make things a lot easier. Um, and it's gonna be a little bit of work in, in the beginning, but it's gonna save us some time in the long run. I so, pull the rack off. Go ahead and start pulling this rear rack off. I like to throw everything in bags. So yeah, I know exactly where the bolts go, especially if it ends up being a few day project for ordering parts or whatnot. It's always good to uh, always have nuts on the bottom. Okay, now we should be good to remove. that a lot easier to uh, be able to get to everything pretty tight fit there's that now I'm gonna check the clutch see what is going on well we definitely got some chunks taken out of that belt right there I can see yeah Chunks taken out of the belt. Just on the very edge. And it feels very loose. Okay. Get that clutch bolt out. Wow. I don't know if you guys see that on the video. I think there's still a bunch in there. Look at the belt from inside this intake here. Still falling. Actually, that looks like some mouse nest or something. Let's take everything apart, get it real nice, clean. Make sure there's no um, damage to anything else. Take the clutch cover. See a couple chunks taken out of that. 
It just seemed very stretch. Okay, so we are gonna remove our clutch here. Loosened it up already. Install our puller. Just like that. Now we can remove the primary and check it out. Mainly I wanted to make sure there was no other oh my bearing seems to move a little hard. Mm. But we're gonna go ahead and check out, make sure there's no other uh, debris in here. There's a little bit on the bottom. I kind of wonder if there's any inside the case there. Almost looks like it, so I think we should remove this. Um, now that we removed the 10 bolts here, we can go ahead and pull this off. Now there is a bead of silicone around this, so it's going to take a little pressure to uh, remove. Just want to go evenly. Make sure you get all the bolts. Should be just the 10 there. A little bit at a time. Let's get just the silicone. There. Should be able to sneak out of there, yep. As you can see right down in here, there's some debris. All these little holes have debris in them. From that belt carnage um, must be at one time before I get it because the belt that I got had a few chunks taken off but not near as much uh, as I found in this thing so only takes a few minutes to pull that off well worth it to get everything out of there we'll just come in here and vacuum it out All right, so while we're already in here, uh, they were worried about the transmission. We're going to make sure uh, there's no metal shavings or anything in there, so I'm going to drain the oil. Might as well. Um, very easy to get to right here. Basically just going to cost some fluid. And it's good insurance that the transmission will be fine. We're hoping. We definitely got some metal shavings on the drain plug, but uh, very fine stuff. And who knows, this this has probably never been changed before. Um, I still think they're okay. Um, I'll run a magnet through the oil there and make sure there's nothing else. But it should have all got caught in here, I would think. Alright, we got our new fluid in there. Um, got our new bead of silicone around the inner clutch cover. Now we're going to install it. So I took the, removed the clutch off this thing. Check this out. This thing is very, very worn. Um, you can tell they they put a new one-way bearing on here, and it just shredded the. It's supposed to be a nylon spacer back here, just shredded that. And then that doesn't look right. That should be flush. So this is slipped at one time. So we're definitely going with another clutch. <laughs> So I got the new, well, I got the used clutch on there. Let's fire it up.
shut this back off. <clears throat> um, so with this clutch, this was out of a 550, but a newer 550. So the idle, um, idle's a little different on those. So uh, I had to use the original weights and spring, but I'm thinking that spring is uh, a little worn. So let's pull that back off. So we don't have to actually <clears throat> pull the clutch off. Um, we just have to loosen, pull the bolt here, and then we gotta pull these uh, six cover bolts. So this clutch I installed on here is in very good shape. That's the only reason I say it's probably the spring because everything on that is very tight. Um, and this is off the original machine. So we'll see. I got a brand new one right here. Brand new clutch spring for this year 550. Head. So this one looks like it's collapsed a little bit much stiffer spring right here this one's very soft this one i can barely push it so we're gonna go ahead put that spring on and our cover plate <clears throat> and should be good to go all right now that we get that new spring on there let's see how she goes <laughs> So the shifting issue ended up being this bell crank. Um, well, as far as, you know, why the shifter was so loose, uh, you can see it's made out of aluminum and she's all stripped very bad. The splines on this were in great shape. So we just replaced it with a new shifting bell crank and we are good to go. Give her a little test here. Check that out. Shifting nice and easy. Well, as easy as these get. These kind of shift a little mean, but it uh, it's shifting how it should. 